Hey y'all, hi. I have really big, amazing news to share, and I'm filming this short video just to share it. So I'm gonna jump right into it without preamble. I'm just gonna give you context and make the announcement, and I don't wanna keep you waiting. So we're already in the meat of the video. I'm just going for it. Context. I started this YouTube channel in 2018 and it became my real job in 2020. I absolutely love this work and I can't wait to see where it takes me next. In a way, it really is, I feel, my calling. Theorizing about aesthetics, using words to articulate my thoughts, making connections with other people through a shared thoughtfulness and a shared love of beauty. Unexpectedly, it actually is the day job of my dreams. But at the very root of that calling, at the concentrated, deep, original root of me, is a difficult and somewhat rarefied art form that I have been practicing for basically my whole life. I've been studying it and practicing it since before YouTube even existed. And that art form is poetry. So this goes back to the very beginning for me. I was obsessed with reading poetry as a child. I had this incredible illustrated edition of Emily Dickinson. That is the first thing that I ever remember reading. By the time I was about eight years old, I had fully decided that poetry was my most important work as a person, and that has never changed. I practiced it and studied it all throughout middle school, all throughout high school. I went to college on a poetry scholarship, and now I have a master's degree in poetry. I've published several poems over the years, and about 10 years ago, I started working on a book. The whole time I've been on YouTube, I've been working on this book behind the scenes, refining it, revising it, and trying to get it published. But the world of poetry publishing, as you may or may not know, is incredibly competitive. The numbers are just just impossible. There are thousands of poets with book manuscripts trying to get them published and only a very small handful of presses who publish them. I have been sending my book manuscript out to presses for years. It has been a constant grueling process and a process of constant rejection. I added it up the other day. I've submitted this book well over a hundred times over the past 10 years, and that means that I have received well over a hundred rejection letters. My manuscript was a finalist for a first book prize a couple of times, and that was really exciting, but never the winner. And actually, over the past couple of years, just for my own sanity, I had stopped hoping. I wasn't going to stop trying because it's my lifelong dream, but I had basically become resigned to the belief that I would be submitting this manuscript year after year for the rest of my life and that that would be it. And then on a rainy day this past April, <laughs> I'm not going to cry. Well, I probably am going to cry. I was actually standing in the street in the rain, lost, looking for the address of an office building at which I had an appointment. The office had moved. I was getting wet, truly the moment when I least expected it. I got a call on my phone from Joseph Harrison, who's the director of the Anthony Hecht Prize for Poetry at Wayweiser Press. It's a first book prize, and he told me that my manuscript had won the 2023 prize. Literally the call that I had been dreaming of for years that I truly thought would never come. When I tell you I was beside myself, like I have never been so beside myself. I felt like I was out of my own own body standing beside myself in the rain. Even now, still, it's hard to believe that it's true. To put in perspective, I'm almost 40 years old and I've been dreaming of publishing a book of poetry since I was about seven. So that's like over 30 years of hoping, dreaming, and working. I've only been making YouTube videos for six of those 30 years. So what you know of me, what you've experienced of me, is a very small piece of this lifelong passion, this lifelong project that is finally, magically, and really against all odds, blossoming. So since April, in addition to everything else that's been going on over here, I have been working with Philip Hoy, the editor at Wayweiser Press, to turn my manuscript, Julia Hungry, into a solid, actual, living, breathing book. The publication date isn't until March 12th of next year. Things take a really long time in publishing. But the book is going to press 
in December. So to make sure that they print enough books, Wayweiser is opening orders for the book now and keeping orders open until December 10th. If you want a first edition copy of the book, you have to place the order now to make sure that they print enough books for everyone who wants one. I will, of course, put the link to the pre-orders page for the book at the top of the description box down below. If you can't afford to buy the book or if you're on a no buy, there is something else huge that you can do to support me, which is to go to your local library or send a message to your local library and ask them to acquire it. It will mean the absolute world to me to have this book in libraries. To me, that is like, I'm not going to cry again. That is like the pinnacle of the dream. Get this book into your local library. And then if you really want to do the most, send me a picture of the book on the shelf at your local library. Another thing that you can do is to go to your local independent book bookstore and ask them to stock the book. And again, it might be possible to do this by email, to send a message, a request to your library, or to send an email to your local independent bookstore. But if you can buy it for yourself, my friends, this is what I'll say. This is the reason that I've never agreed to do a makeup collab with a brand. Because on the tiny chance that this day might come, I wanted to be able to say, I've never before asked you to buy anything to support me. And this matters so much more to me than any of those things would have mattered. And I feel the, the value is much greater because it's something that I've been working on for my whole life. And as an object, the book will last forever in your hands. If any of my videos have ever helped you in any way, if you have ever wished that you could really thank me or send something to thank me, give me something in return, this is your moment. I'm letting you know without shame <laughs> that this is your moment. And full disclosure, the book does cost money to buy because it costs money to make, but it's not really a money thing to me. There's very little profit in poetry publishing. What it's about, what I'm asking for your help doing is getting the book out into the world, getting it made, getting it out into the world, getting it into people's hands and helping it to have a robust life. So if you can think of anyone who might like one, maybe order a few. In my experience, books of poetry make amazing gifts, especially like the small, perfect gift. I know that the holiday season will be over by the time the book is actually published, by the time that the orders actually ship, but it's a great thing to have on hand throughout the year. It makes a great hostess gift, a great birthday gift gift, that kind of thing. Now, there is one huge, terrible caveat, and I hate to say this, but I have to tell you, Waywiser, the press, doesn't currently ship directly to the European Union. This is because of taxes and duties related to Brexit, and it's very frustrating for everyone involved, but it's the current state of things. Their distributor does distribute books to EU-based bookshops. So if you live in the European Union, you will be able to buy the book from bookstores after it is published. But if you live in the European Union, you can't place a pre-order because all of the pre-orders are going through Wayweiser. I really, really want to make sure that there are enough books for everyone. So Joe has set up an email sign-up for the those of you in the European Union. The link to that is also down below. If you're in the EU and you would pre-order, but you can't, if you plan to order the book when it's available on March 12th, please sign up. All we'll do is send you an email in March telling you where you can buy the book. Obviously, we won't be using your email address for anything else or sharing it. The really important thing is that signing up will give us a sense of how many books Wayweiser needs to print so that there will be enough books for all of you in March. My nightmare is that someone will want to buy the book and there won't be enough copies. So if you're in the EU and you'd like to buy the book, please sign up. If you live anywhere else in the world besides the EU, you can pre-order and your book will ship on March 12th and your local library can pre-order too. But the pre-order window will close on December 10th. I think that's it. I will let you read about the book itself on the pre-orders page on the Wayweiser website. And I will also plan to make a little bit of content about it when the book is published. I know that poetry is daunting for some people. Maybe you've never bought a book of poetry before or even read through a book of poetry before. But the good news is with this one, I'm here to help you make sense of it. We'll read it together. I'm not going to do any of that in this video. Because 
because I don't want it to get too long, but there will be plenty of time for all of that next year. I am so beyond delighted to finally have a reason and a way to bring this part of my life and my work to you concretely. I would have liked to do it before now, but it was hard to think about because as the years went by and the book still wasn't published, it became more and more emotionally difficult. It was like my own private struggle and it was more comfortable to keep it that way, a personal challenge at which I was chipping away privately month after month, year after year. But now that we have the book and it makes sense to share it, it's exciting to think about how wonderful it could be to talk a little bit about poetry on camera. It feels like I am able to remove yet another division, yet another divider between the different sides of myself and let them all mingle together. So stay tuned, order the book if you can, and please remember to notify your local libraries and your local independent bookstores during this pre-order window too. Y'all, thank you so much for watching this video, for being here. Endless thanks to you for your support of every kind over the years. And don't forget to take extra good care of yourself so that you can be the most effective version of yourself as you do your work in the world. <laughs>